right, we are in the brand new remodeled rooms here at Pop Century. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly over those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside. All the words you told me, am I reading something different from your eyes? See you. Good afternoon, YouTube. I hope all you guys are having an awesome, fantastic day. Welcome back to yet another Disney Resort tour. And today I'm coming from Disney's Pop Century Resort, my favorite value resort. I actually survived a hurricane here for three days last year. That was not a fun experience. I'll put that video in uh, the description so you guys go check that out. But we're doing two resort tours today. We're starting here at Pomp Century. They're gonna be making our way over to Art of Animation. So you guys are getting a double feature today. So let's not waste any time. I'm ready, hopefully you guys are. Let's go do this. And right as you come outside, we have all of the bus transportation that's gonna take you guys to the parks, springs, get to where you need to be. All right over here, gift shops right there, and then check-ins right here. And in this area right here, like this family's doing, this is where you're gonna wait for your Magical Express. This is where you'll be picked up and took to back to the airport. There's a bus that pulled up right now, but this is the area where you're kind of wait for your transportation. And then luggage, is right there airline check-ins right there and then right here is the front lobby where you're going to check in let's head in there now and here we are now in the front lobby where you will check in and do your registration here if you have any questions about hotel tickets disney transportation magical express minivan service um, all this will be found right here and something i really like about this resort is they have so much like classic mickey mouse clubhouse and classic disney vintage things that you would find from like the 50s 60s and 70s and that's what this resort is kind of themed after and right as you start walking away from check-in you come up on everything pop that's going to be your shopping and your diner so you can find all your food quick service and like a food court over here then to your left you see a big old thing that says transportation and that's kind of where i showed you guys outside where you're going to get on your buses to take you to the parks and disney springs and whatsoever then to your right this is where you're going to go the pool's over there your rooms are over there everything's right there then they have an arcade and of course they do have chase atms here in a fuel rod station can't recommend the fuel rod enough along with business computers so if you guys need to print off like your boarding passes or tickets or anything this is where you'll come and now we're in everything pop their gift shop and they have all the new ears and the ones that just came out today the mini mouses um 90th celebration ears really really cool but yeah everything else that you can find in a theme park you can find here at your resort along with all the disney resort soaps that you can take home luggage hats beach towels pretty much everything you can need also has all your booze everything you need wine all your snacks are over here if you guys have any like health emergencies or forget your toothbrush or razors or anything all this is here also before i forget this is where you're going to pick up your packages if you guys send packages from the theme parks to your resort this is where you pick them up right in the food court lobby area and this is something i really do recommend for you guys when you guys travel here get one of these cups they're 18.99 but they're unlimited refills per day so you can get drinks coffee tea anything 18.99 per day and of course if you guys have to read the paper in the morning they do have daily newspapers here in the gift shop and here's a look at their food court and this is bringing back so many memories because i was stuck here for three days during hurricane matthew couldn't leave this area in my room so imagine being stuck for three days <laughs> Woo, this is my first time i've been back since first up they do have a hot sandwich area where you can get sandwiches they have a turkey sandwich vegetable sandwich create your own salad they have um soups this is amy and her cute family her cute nuggets and you guys are staying here yes, stay here 
So out of 10, how high would you recommend Pop Century? Uh, I don't know, it's probably a 9 or 10. 9 or 10, wow. You know. And you're staying in the refurbished rooms? Yes, we're staying in the refurbished rooms. Okay. Room. Thank you for saying hi. Yeah. And next up, we have the grill. And this is where you can get your bacon cheeseburgers, chicken nuggets. They have a plant-based booger. <laughs> plant-based burger. <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> They have hot dogs, this is where you get your breakfast. They have pancakes, bacon, sausage, hash browns, everything you guys can need right here at the grill. And they have some refrigerated snacks for you too, like a mini salad, um, vegetables, pretzels, fruit, sandwiches, beer, wine, uh, more fruit, more beer. Oh, they have margaritas here, that's new. Milk, apple juice, all your refreshments, and then we have like a mini little um, cafe with all your sugars here. Got cupcakes. Ooh, look at that birthday cupcake. It's amazing. They have cheesecake brownies. Look at this tie-dye cheesecake. And you can only find this here at Pop Century. It's like a tie-dye cheesecake. I tried this when I was here last time. It is delicious. And they also have like pre-made cakes. So if you have like a birthday coming up, you can come here and get one. Then cookies, donuts, cinnamon rolls, muffins. And they do have your Mickey ice cream bars, your Mickey ice cream sandwiches here. And right here we have where you can get your pizza. Um, they can make a family style pizza for $17.99. They have pasta with meatballs, chicken parmesan, meatball sub, or you can get it by the slice, which I would rather just get your family style one for $17.99. It's kind of like a whole pizza. Guys, I ran into LaShonda. Where are you visiting from? Um, Miami. Miami? Are you about to have a heart attack? Are you okay? <laughs> How, out of 10, how much would you recommend Pop Century? I would recommend 100. 100, that good? I love this place. The really? People are nice and the food is always good. That's what I like. The that's good about. to know. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And that's pretty much everything here in the dining hall in the front lobby area. So now let's go outside and show you guys what the pool looks like, and what some of the rooms kind of looks like. Hopefully, you get a room tour. And they do have an arcade here. It's pretty big, too. A lot of games for the whole family in here and it goes way back and directly on the back right side of the pool you do have a poolside bar where you can get your margaritas pina coladas beer full service bar and here's a look at the pop century main pool it's a basic pool it's just a big pool there's no like water slides or anything there's it's this is a value resort so you're not gonna have nothing too crazy but um, the pool is heated and I believe if you put your head underwater, there's music playing. I can't remember if this is Pop Century or like Art or Animation, but I think this pool does it too. And directly behind the main pool, they do have a kiddie pool. So you can bring your little ones here. And here are the classic 60s hotel rooms with Mowgli and Blue. Pretty nice. And to just show you guys a big overview of the hotel grounds and how big it is, it's really not too big they do have the 90s 80s 70s 60s and 50s and they do have a new balance running trail for your runners if you come here on your vacation and you have to run it's a pretty nice run as you get to run all throughout pop century into automation and all the way back and here are the 1950s room style over here not much over here besides these huge bowling pins um but yeah it's right next to the 60s and I think the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the other side. Look at my main man, Goofy. Man, you look like you belong in the 70s. Oh wait, we are in the 70s section of the resort. Oh man, I love it over here in the 70s. Look at this vintage Mickey Mouse. That is neat. All right, let's go get a room tour of the brand new remodeled standard rooms here at Pop Century. All right, we are in the brand new remodeled rooms here at Pop Century. They have done one a heck of a job. I'm guessing this comes down as a bed, right? Okay, amazing. Queen size bed, nice dresser. Look at the TV, that's like a 55 inch TV. A nice refrigerator, coffee. And something I really like that Disney's doing is they have USBs in here for plugins. Then if you want to have a joint room, looks like this is a door that will join it over to the next one. Look at the bathrooms. Man, nice little closet. Iron, iron board. Lots of storage space. I like the sink. Look at the tub. 
This is really, really nice. And there's that soap. Oh, that is a huge rain water faucet. This is really nice. Wow. That room was awesome. I like how really modern that looks. Like it's simple. And I like simple. It's not too much. Very clean. Very slick. I like it. And the good thing about staying here at both Art of Animation and Pop Century is it's right in the center of this little lake. That this side's Pop Century and then this side is Art of Animation. And then right over here, we have the gondola station. And there's really not much to see right now. The station looks almost done. They're out there working right now, but let's go on the other side and see what we can see from here. Oh yeah, we can see a lot more on this side. There's the whole station there. And then the gondola stands. They already have the ropes in them. It's just a matter of time before we actually see gondolas on here doing testing. They already started doing testing. This is going to be awesome. Also, here's a quick map of the skyline and where it's all going to take you, which we're right here now. Art of Animation, Pop Century. From here, it's going to take you to the Caribbean beach. Then from there, you can either go to Disney's Hollywood Studios or you can continue on Disney's Riviera Resort, which is not open yet. And from there, you can take it over to Epcot. Let's make our way over the bridge, over to Art of Animation. And right in this area, kind of whereby the gondola station is, it's kind of a little bit of a mess right now because of all the construction, but don't let all this fool you. It is still a beautiful resort. Like, look at all of the theme in here. We're in the Finding Nemo section. This is awesome. This is the main section here at Art of Animation is the Nemo area. And right here is going to be the main pool. And right here is the big blue pool. And this is the kitty area right here for your little ones. And then over here we have the main pool. And you do have to have a gate. Well, not a gate code, but a magic band that you're staying here to allow you to open that so you can go in. So just not anybody can get into there like Pop Century's pool where you can just walk right in. Well, hello there, Dory and Crush. And this is also a pretty big basic pool. There's not really any water slides or anything special because it's still, I believe, still a value resort. But it's huge. They're currently doing some Disney trivia over there for some activities for your family. So right next to the pool, we do have the main lobby here at Art of Animation. But we're going to kind of do things a little backwards since I came from Pop Century. We're going to show off the different resort rooms and then we're going to make our way into the main lobby. And here's an overall view of Art of Animation, how big it is. Again, not really big like Pop Century, um, but they have a lot of theming, and that's what I really do love about this resort. What's going on, Rafiki? And I just can't wait to be king. Obviously, now we're in the Lion King section of the resort. And man, it instantly feels like I'm in Animal Kingdom. Oh, there's Puma. Man, oh man, the theming here is amazing. I love it so much. They're even playing like jungle music here. Nice. Also, another kind of security benefit of staying here is you do have to have a magic band with um, room access to get into the areas with the rooms in there. So adds a little bit of safety, I guess, that a random person like me can't just walk right in and, you know, not really where you're supposed to be. And Pop Century does not have that feature. Ooh, I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore. Now we're coming up on the Little Mermaid section of the resort. Look, it's a thingamabobber. Here's Mr. Prince Eric. But man, let me tell you what. The theme in here is amazing. I love this Little Mermaid section of the resort, but we still have cars. And I actually stayed over in the cars section of the resort. Ooh, there's Ursula. Then we have Sebastian and the king. And now we're coming up on the Little Mermaid pool. And this is a smaller pool, mainly for guests staying over here in the Little Mermaid section because it's so far away from the main lobby. But it's small, it's awesome. We got Little Mermaid right there with Flounder. This is nice, it's quiet, really quiet back here. My thoughts so far on noise level. Art of Animation, it's not noisy at all, especially back here with the Little Mermaid section and the Lion King section. Now, I have not been in the lobby yet. I have not been over in cars yet, but for the most part, very quiet. Pop Century, kind of the same way. A little bit more noisier over there, but most parts are quiet, but lobby area, it's a little noisy.
and these are value resorts so a lot of families do stay here so a lot of kids stay here but if you guys are like a couple or not coming with kids this is probably not the best resort for you I like how they have like classic animation of Dory on the side of this Finding Nemo building also right next to the big blue pool they do have a poolside bar just like Pop Century um, they have looks like they have fountain drinks over there a full service bar margaritas pina coladas and additional seating and TVs so you can watch like the game you can also do your laundry here and this is located right next to the pool oh I didn't even see these guys mine 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 now we're in the radiator spring section of the resort and this is my favorite section I don't know now the little mermaid may be my new favorites but I've actually stayed in these before and I love this area it's not quite like radiator springs in Disneyland but it is quite nice having some sort of a section of Radiator Springs here at Walt Disney World. Here's the Cozy Cone. Then we have Luigi's over here. Then there's Tomania, his Salvage Yard. This is awesome. Do you do selfies? We're about to take one. This is something you do not do. Do not let your kids do this. It clearly says no climbing. But yet, look at this, and the parents are fine with it. And there's the man, the myth, the legend, Lightning McQueen. And they do have their own cozy cone pool back here for the guests staying in the car section. It's really, really small, smaller than the one over at Little Mermaid, but it'll do. I really like these like cabana things. It's uh, the cone, but you can actually have seating in there and some shade in there. That's pretty, pretty neat. Those are the three main sections here at Art of Animation, their resort. But now let's go into the main lobby and check out what all there is to do in here. And right in here, this is where you can do your airline check-in and do your bags. They do Alaska, American, Delta, JetBlue, Southwest, and United. Oh my goodness. I'm in the lobby now and they have paintings of all of the classic movies. Little Mermaid, Nemo, Cars. They still have the Christmas tree up, amazing. They do too have an arcade here. See how big it is. Oh yeah, it's pretty big, just like over in Pop Century. A lot to do in here. They also have like some massage chairs. Look up top, they have like classic animation from the movies up here. That's awesome. But as soon as you get here in the main lobby, if after you park, get off your Magical Express, you walk into the main lobby with all this amazing art animation throughout. And then here's your <coughs> lobby where you'll check in, do your registration. If you have any questions about tickets or anything this is where you'll come and it's not crowded surprisingly pop century there's a little bit of a line but here it's not bad all right just spoke with some managers they are at a hundred percent um they have no rooms available because it's marathon week so that's something i should have thought about it so it's probably not the best week to do a resort tour but luckily they were able to bring out a special book and show me some pictures of what the rooms actually look like um hopefully one day i can come back and actually show you guys into a room because i wouldn't mind staying here myself for a night so it looks like these are what the standard rooms look like in the little mermaid rooms okay that's awesome oh wow cool um, this starts with one of the suites this is one of the suites yeah whoops sorry I'm sorry oh that's cool yep that would be a lion king suite a lion king suite Nice. So on that bed is coming up from the table. Oh wow, so it turns back. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess that can pull up. Uh, mm -hmm. So maybe like, how many would you think it would sleep? It's typically six. Six. Six, six in an infant, yeah. Awesome. Oh, that's so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. and that's the Murphy bed that pulls down. That's nice. And it's set up 
just like Pop Century, where you'll come out of the lobby, takes you into the gift shop, the food court, then over here is gonna be your transportation to the parks, then over to your right is a, how we came in, this is how you're gonna get to your hotel room. Of course, they do have public internet, so you can print out your um, flight tickets, your boarding passes, they have a house phone, which I don't know if anybody still uses those anymore. And over here you have a Chase ATM and a fuel rod station and a fax machine. Pop Century did not have a fax machine. All right, let's head into the ink and paint shop and I already see something I have my eyes on that just came out today. Here's the Minnie Mouse polka dot 90th birthday celebration spirit jersey and it just came out today. I wonder if I should just buy all of them and uh, sell them on eBay like everybody else is doing. But I like that a lot. I mean, I can't wear it because it's mostly made for women, but I like it. And they also came out with Minnie Mouse polka dot shoes. Cool, with the mini ears that's been selling out. They only have two more. And then the spirit jersey. I'm surprised they have them here in every size. So that should tell you guys, when the parks are sold out of something, try coming over to the resorts because a good amount of time they will have it. And of course they have resort only merchandise here at Art of Animation. I like that shirt, the coffee mug. Of course they have pretty much everything that you can buy inside of the park here. All your standard things. There's the Disney soap and bath wash, Little Mermaid stuff. This gift shop is pretty nice though. I'm not really seeing any booze here besides some wine right here, but they do have a section of emergency things if you guys do have an emergency and they do have like snacks here and then on the other side they have like bread and donuts and some more sweets and then this is their package pickup where if you get something in the park you can have it sent here and this is where you'll pick it up and now let's head into landscape of flavors and this is their food court here at art of animation starting off over here at the desserts they have everything muffins cupcakes cheesecakes oh look at this little mermaid cupcake that looks like an ice cream cupcake and something else I want to show you guys is they have fresh made gelato here that looks delicious and of course you have your to-go things they have sandwiches pre-made um, gallons of milk vegetables fruit they have a build your own sandwich station create your own salad roasted turkey sandwich barbecue pork porridge sandwich looks like they have some soups here over here you can kind of get a little bit of everything, Asian chicken bowl, jumbo stuffed meatball, some boneless chicken thighs, grilled fish, and here's some more refreshments. They have some beer, some wine. Over here you have your pizza and pasta station. You can get a family style pizza, you can get a slice of pizza, create your own pasta, chicken parmesan. This is cool. They have a pizza only line where you come up here and just get slices of pizza and like a, looks like a garlic stick. And then right next to the pizza and pasta station, we have the grill where you can get your bacon cheeseburger, chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets, grilled cheese. Over here we have your fountain drinks, your tea, your coffee, condiments. But I do like the theming in here also. The whole resort is very, very well themed. All right, that's about it from here at Art of Animation. My opinion, it's a lot better than Pop Century, but it's still a basic resort. So if you like basic, these are the two resorts I think you should say that, but I think the kids are gonna like this a little bit more than Pop Century. What is going on in here? They're having a dance party like all the managers. <laughs> all right, that's gonna do it from here, both at Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I love these two resorts. They're both value resorts. These are way nicer than the All-Star Resorts. All-Star Resorts is still nice, I'm gonna have to take you guys there soon and let you guys see the all-star value resorts. But you can't go wrong with Pop Synergy and Art of Animation. My personal favorite is Arts of Animation. I think there's just a little bit more over there as far as theming and a little bit more to do over there. Pop is still good too. I stayed here many times. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of both resorts. Let me know which one you guys would rather stay at. Of course, leave this video a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel. Comment, start a conversation. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, check out all my links down below for social media if you guys want to help um, support the channel paypal.com slash prince charming dev always a good way of helping um, but I appreciate all you guys coming on we have a lot of resort tours coming up and if you guys have a Pacific resort you guys want me to go to make sure you also leave a comment down below I got the contemporary coming up animal kingdom lodge coming up Caribbean beach coming up and all stars coming up 
But if I need to add to that list, definitely let me know in the comments. But as far as now, I love you guys. It's nice to be nice in YouTube. I will see you guys in the next video. Prince Charming is...